Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, yeah, we are playing some Sega Saturn and it's Street Fighter 03 today. Uh, haven't done an episode of Saturn Fighters for years and years. I used to do this quite regularly and I never, I don't remember doing Street Fighter 03. So, yeah, we're going back to it. Classic Sega Saturn and I want to see how it compares uh, or how I compare to playing, I've been playing it on the uh, arcade machine for the last few years, so I want to see uh, if I can get on playing with the control pad again, and yeah, how it plays and what it looks like. Uh, this is a 4 meg game, so you need the 4 meg RAM cart to be bailed to play this game. So if you've got a UK Power Saturn, you're going to be probably using the Action Replay, which has got 4 meg anyway, so uh, a game that's definitely worth uh, having despite the price because uh, of the extra modes and the extra characters that you can get in it so yeah let's get on with it and do some gameplay check it out we'll do a playthrough of arcade mode check out the loading times like we used to Obviously came out for the Dreamcast as well, but I never had that version, so I don't really know how it compares. I know it does have a lot of options, but I just wanted to go back and look at the Saturn version. Let's take a look. We've got arcade, training, survival, dramatic, final battle. Yeah, pretty much all the options like I think the Dreamcast has maybe. So a lot of good options modes on here. Let's have a look in uh, the settings. Let's load my data. Oh, I should be loaded already. Stick the difficulty up a bit. Four. Right, excellent. Uh, yeah, let's just play some arcade mode, I guess, maybe. Shall we? Yeah. Yeah, you got June and July there. There's June, there's July. Got Evil Ryu. Or is that regular Ryu? I think it's, no. There he is, there's Ryu, and there's the evil. Yeah, so yeah, a lot more character unlocks, which is cool. T-Hawk's in here. Let's go with Chun. Actually, this doesn't have any um, loading times, does it? Because it's 4 meg. Because of the 4 meg, I think. RAM expandable. So literally, arcade perfect. Oh, it looks fantastic on the, uh, the old CRT. I have, um, over the last year or two, trimmed down my Saturn collection quite a lot. I got rid of a lot of the Capcom and SNK fighting games because of the arcade machine I installed. This is a no-brainer to keep. Got to keep the good ones. I was looking at some of the um, fighting games I did keep. And I'm kind of glad I did because they have do have a lot of options modes inside them that the arcade versions don't. And this is definitely the top one, obviously. A bit weird playing with the controller pad now. I've been playing this with an arcade uh, setup for the last couple of years. So yeah, no loading times, cool. Forgot about that. Nobody's playing. Fire! 
Rainbow Mika. So to do Chun-Li's special move, you've got to do back forward, back forward really quickly and it's hard to do on the control pad. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Just looking at the colours on the screen compared to the, what's coming out on my camera, and uh, unfortunately my camera's not doing it any justice. It looks absolutely beautiful. I've got this running on a little 14-inch Sony Trinitron CRT, and it just looks incredible. I always found the smaller this screen the better the image quality. See if we can actually do some special moves here because I'm just playing really boring at the moment. There we go, there's a special. Yeah, it's hard to do a 100 foot kick as well because, again, it's easy on an <laughs> arcade setup because you can just bash the button on this. Uh, playing with the control pad is just weird to me now. I used to always play this with a control pad. It's so, so strange. That's the whole point of I wanted to get an arcade setup because I wanted to um, play these games how they were kind of originally made and intended on an arcade setup and I never did before so yeah it's kind of had an effect on my control pad playing skills unfortunately let's skip these little scenes let's get into these fights oh, I love playing against these big enemies like Sagat and T-Hawk, all the big bosses. It means it's just easier to hit. I'm trying to do my special move here. There we go. Oh. might have me here. Let's not make that happen. There we go. Birdie. 
ちょっと良かったっしら。<laughs> Let's try this super move. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, you blocked it. Oh, that's devastating. That move. Oh. Stay tuned, I think I'm going to do another Saturn Fighters episode after this. Uh, we're going to do some Vampire Saviour. And what's interesting about that on the Sega Saturn is that, um, again, it's got all the characters on that, uh, on that one game that you get over both the arcade versions. The uh, Japanese arcade version that wasn't released in the Europe or USA. It was Japan, Japan only. And it had a couple of uh, characters on there. So to get all the characters, you have to play essentially two different arcade versions, which I have on my arcade machine, but um, the Saturn version, which I kept, luckily, happily, uh, has got all the characters on there. So yeah, these, um, these Sega Saturn games on their own do have a lot more content that the, than you can get on the standard arcade version. So some of them are definitely worth keeping or getting hold of. Um, I'm not sure of the price of Vampire Savior, um, but if you can get a hold of it, if you've got a Sega Saturn, definitely do because you get all the characters on there unlocked. But stay tuned, I might do a Saturn Fighters episode next uh, with that game. We'll play a bit more of this till we get knocked out, see how far we can get. More final fight characters here coming through. Ready? Special move I can use. Oh, he didn't quite connect there. I don't know what he did to me there, that was a weird move. Oh, come on, one more hit, one more hit. Yes. seconds. This might have to do, I might have to do it cheap. I can't do it! The D-pad's failing me! <laughs> I think my fingers are kind of run out of blood. I went all numb there. I couldn't do that special move. So you've got to hold back for two seconds and then forward, back, forward and then kick. And then she does her special, which is a great little move, but you just got to be really quick on the uh, back and forward motions, and it's really hard to do on the D-pad. <laughs> Much easier on a, with an arcade stick. All 
Bob. Yeah. Fighter 03 as well is still probably one of the releases out of the series that a lot of people don't like. They they say, you know, Street Fighter 02 is their favourite or they prefer Street Fighter 02, but I don't know if it's just because they just don't like the fighting system. You know, you've got the three ISM systems on this, but if you're playing Street Fighter 03, you can just choose the XISM, which I'm playing on now, and that just, you know, it's just standard, you know, Super Street Fighter champion kind of moves. It's not too complicated, so just put, pick the exit X system, uh, which is what's featured in Street Fighter Zero Two. Oh, we're both wearing pink color clash. Is that what the fight's about? I wore my outfit. Oh, let's try and stamp on his head and then. Special kit, there we go. I just will never stop loving the music on this game. It's got the best music of any fighting game. I just absolutely love it. It just every time I play this game and demonstrate it, it just I have to mention it, it just gets you in the mood. Be hard pressed to fight a fight and find the fighting game with a better soundtrack. In my opinion. Oh, he's got me, I think. Let's not give up. Never give up. Yes, you see? Never give up. Look how close that was. easier to do it then. There we go. Oh, I didn't quite finish it off. 
Oh, I was actually lucky then. I think she, this girl can be tricky fighting Cammy. She can really turn it on and kick her ass, so you've got to be careful. Just stick some headphones in right now. Just listen to that music. It's epic. safe. I think um, the boss is next, so we're nearly there. against one. I love this fight. I love it. Especially when you actually kick their asses. I don't know how I'm going to do with the pad, but we'll see. <laughs> Double team? Let's get him back. There we go, have some of that. There we go. Yes! Payback. One all. That's a... This is it. What are they doing? Charging up. Oh, don't let them get either side of you. That's danger. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I did my best. And that was Street Fighter 03 on the Saturn. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for some more Saturn Fighters, and we'll see what we can play next. Take care. Nine.